what how how in the world do you go through a hiring process of team members that most likely ensures or helps ensure that that person matches up to your culture to your team's core values yeah it's a great question so there's several different methodologies you know one of them being you you we value high intelligence. So that's one of our core values here. You and that, and that's largely because uh, I, in order for me to get engaged, we got to have real conversations. You got to be able to keep up. I want to be able to keep up with you. So we, we value intelligence. And so that has us testing people uh, as they come in. We're testing literally from an IQ standpoint. And drawing it back, I know that seems a little weird, but let me let me draw this back. Of all of the tests and methodologies, everything that's ever been studied relative to somebody's ability to perform a job and to do it well, the number one key indicator is what's your IQ? How intelligent are they? Because the smarter you are, naturally, the faster you can pick anything up. And so we test for that. And then we have a standard in place that you, somebody's got to be able to to be above a certain threshold in order to take the next steps in that process. You know, people smarts is is a little harder one to, to test because it is a core value of ours. You've got to be people intelligent. And we're in the business where we're dealing with sellers direct or we're building relationships with brokers, whatever it may be. You've got to you've got to be able to build some relationships with folks. And so you got to be people oriented. And that is that's tougher to measure. And we're doing that through a series of multiple interviews with multiple people on the team to see can they do it. And everybody's got input on the team them when it comes to hiring. Do you believe in the philosophy of hire slow and fire fast? Uh, Yes. And you'll see that play out in terms of what it is that we do now, because for us to hire, I mean, we're taking people through multiple sequences, um, tests and interviews, and then, and then cautiously bringing them on and then set an expectation to to go, this is, this is what it looks like. Yeah. What are your favorite ways these days to find candidates to hire for your team? Yeah. You know what? Let me, I'll mention the book that I wrote because I actually wrote a book specifically on this subject matter, Unicorn Hunting for Real Estate Investment Companies. So how to easily attract, screen, and land a unicorn. It's it's a complete hiring funnel. Our, our best way is, you know, I would say, ha- let me let me set this up first. Half our business is is virtual. So little more than half. Most of the team is not here in, in Des Moines. And so our best way is to go off and then you, we utilize ZipRecruiter. So we use ZipRecruiter, but it goes past that because let's, Jay, let's just run a little, let me ask you two questions. If you were to, if you were to look for a job today and you went to ZipRecruiter and you had to punch in a city in which you want to look for a job in, where would you look for that? What city would you punch in? I would punch in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. And and that's because you either live there or want to move there. Is that fair to say? That's because I got a lot of family there. A lot of family there. Okay. Sounds perfect. So what, what we've noticed, and, and this has all been tested through our methodology of ruling this out, is that people, when they go in and they look for a job, generally speaking, they're they're punching in a city that they either live in or they want to live in. Even if it's a remote role, which so many roles are remote today, right? And so our key has been to go in and not just post a job in my home city and put remote role. It is to go in and post the job in 100 cities or 150 cities. And we have the title of the job slash remote role. And what that does is literally i mean the last few jobs in which we posted it is not uncommon that we're at two to three to four thousand applicants in a three-day period real estate investors raise a lot of private money for their real estate deals and i can help you right now do the same thing i've just written a brand new money guide titled seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate business and help you build incredible wealth. It's absolutely free. All you got to do is just download it. Go to www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash money guide. And I'll see you on the inside.